What's up, Ampy Nation? This is Gary, uh, the amputee. And today's video is just going to be a quick one. Um, it's just going to go over a couple things you can do to modify your prosthetic um, to keep the longevity of it looking pretty and um, to, to help these um, foot shells last longer. And if you have blades that exceed the uh, edge of your foot shell, the back of these will bump uh, steps and stuff like that so here's just a few mods and stuff that you can ask your prosthetist to make and uh, they should be able to do it for you the first one I want to show is gonna be this foam pad now I go fishing and, and I'll be on my knees and so um, having this uh, foam pad here when I'm on my knees it prevents all this from getting scratched so this helps me a lot you can see a little bit right there where it takes more of the um, the the ground and the gravel right here by my knee opposed to damaging uh, the beautiful socket uh, here is the back this is just a um, very thin um, shoe sole that they usually have at prosthetist or prosthetic offices We'll carry these um, sheets of them so they can cut them and uh, do stuff like this. I had them add one to the back of my Phil Hour All Pro leg. That's what this is, is the Phil Hour All Pro. And um, because the um, it's, it's cutting it so close to the heel of the foot shell that when I go down cement steps, this will bang the step on the back. Uh, uh, getting in and out of cars um, so if you have a blade and you want to protect the integrity of the carbon fiber um, it doesn't hurt to ask them to add uh, one of these and epoxy it on also like I said that's that's another one there um, that's just a simple little modification that they can do there that will keep the integrity of it looking nice and clean and then for the foot shell for the foot shell pardon if it's a little dirty here um, so a lot of foot shells will, uh, the blade or the tip of the toes will tear through right here. And that's because these toes are solid. And um, basically the end of the blade will go to about here. And when you step on your foot, so you're going upstairs, you can see where it's trying to push through right here. You can see that. So um, this is just another thin sole that uh, is for shoes that I had them cut out uh, a very basic design you don't want it to lip over too much because it will pull off if you walk through sand it'll pull these off so you want to make sure they're really well um, cut in place this one actually was really well most of the time they'll end up peeling it at the front if you walk barefoot a lot and then you'll have to re-glue it or they'll just end up peeling off so you want to make sure that you um, have them do that and make sure that it's fully cured before you um, start taking off in it and doing stuff like that like I would probably put something like a real tight sock on it to keep it in place um, and make sure that there's no overhanging lips that can grab stuff especially in the toe area but you can see how worn down uh, it is right here and that that it's actually this foot shell actually has a tear in it and the only thing keeping it together is um, this foot, uh, this uh, shoe sole. You can see it's starting to tear here from where uh, the pressure is and then at the back there. You can also see how worn and torn this is. And this foot shell has lasted uh, a year and a half, probably two years. And I only get like six months out of one of these things. So those are just a few mods that you can do. Um, that's just a small little video I have for you guys today. I hope that, um, that kind of sparks any ideas, um, each prosthetic's different. So talk to your prosthetist about what they can do. It never hurts to ask. So if you want to put a little front bumper on the front, or if you got a blade and you want to protect the back, um, those are things I recommend doing. I do always recommend asking them to put a rubber sole as thin as you can possibly get it. That's a you know a strong durable material that won't just tear like the foot shells. 
because these only I think they're only insured or um, uh, covered by warranty for like six months and uh, you know right after six months goes by I need a new one it never it's never before but it's always right after so they can be a pain and they can be costly so that's my video for you guys today I, uh, I hope uh, you like please like and subscribe and there will be more amputee videos um, for the amputee 101 series all right my amputee nation thank you so much stay tuned for more